Hi everyone! In this video, we're going to delve even deeper into the Illuminati Freemason symbolism surrounding the Brit Awards 2017. But, but before we get into all of that, I'd just like you, I, I'd just like to show you this Mastercard thing to do with Robbie Williams. Because for those who don't know, Mastercard sponsored the Brit Awards last night. Now, obviously, straight away, you see the Illuminati pyramid on this clothing. See, this little girl represents the woman of Revelation 12. This woman stood on this moon right here. And Robbie Williams represents the dragon, Satan, coming after her. <clears throat> so... The two sides in Soccer Aid represents just like the two sides in Captain America Civil War. Like, another person who re represents this Rev 12 woman is Natalia in Resident Evil Revelations 2. See, she's holding this blue bear, the blue for Jesus, Israel, and Jacob, and then the white for heaven. <clears throat> See how Natalia wears white just like this woman, see? You want even more evidence? Okay. We'll show you even more evidence. See this this girl's also wearing white? Because Natalia and this girl here both represent this woman. Like, see, again... Robbie with the Illuminati pyramid on his clothing. And then... If we go in over to Revelation 13, it talks of the feet of a bear. That's what the beast out of the sea has. <clears throat> And that's what links to this bear here, and this bear here, see? Because this whole beast system of all of these people has the feet of a bear. So, <clears throat> Ada Wong in Resident Evil. She represents just like Ada in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Ada She's in Agents of Shells, basically. And she was created by Holden Radcliffe. Just like you have Daniel Radcliffe. See, it's modelled after Radcliffe's former love interest, Agnes Kitsworth. Just like you have Agnes Bruckner, the actress in real life. Because Agnes Bruckner represents that Rev 12 woman. See, her a one of her aliases is Sexbot. Because the Illuminati and Freemasons are trying to brainwash you with sexual things. Like, it goes back to, like, the sex alien gas on Torchbud. <clears throat> like, <clears throat> this... Is all got to do with robots rising up. That that that's what like like the 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 new Transformers movie that is going to come out soon. That's going to show this same symbolism of robots rising up and overthrowing the human race. <clears throat> so yeah, Agents of Shield is showing the same symbolism as the new Transformers film. So even uh. Ward, a.k.a. Satan, is coming back. Like, representing him being released from his pet. Like, basically, even look, that there's also a footballer called Grant Ward as well. See how he's the same age as me, 22? Like... <clears throat> He even goes back to the Taylor Swift song, 22. Remember, Taylor Swift has blonde hair, just like me. Like, see, this guy was born on the 5th of December, the 5th for the 5th age of the Bible, coming. 
And then, of course, another similarity he has with me. I'm a Tottenham supporter. He's a Tottenham player. So, do you see? I mean, the Tottenham kit is white for heaven and blue for Jesus. So, like Liverpool, Arsenal, and uh, Man U, they wear red for Satan. And then Chelsea wears blue for Jesus. So, if Gemma Simmons dies, well, apparently that she does, according to this here, um, <clears throat> like, that would represent her, the woman of Rev 12, leaving to go to heaven. Like, so, like, basically, like, even th this thing here, it says, says about Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Season 4, represented the fourth age of the Bible that we're in at the moment. Like, <clears throat> And look, it even says Christian times as well. It doesn't get much more obvious than that. Um, but anyway, like, Simmons, uh, Quake, and May, they all represent that Rev 12 woman. And then the shield logo is like the eagle granted to the woman of Rev 12. So Coulson and Fitz, they're like your Jesus characters. That's why Fitz is wearing blue in this picture for Jesus. And then, like, Mac is, like, your Obama-type character. And so, basically, right, you know that like, you have, like, O.T. Mabuse in Strictly Comes Anson? Well, she's your Michelle Obama-type character. Just, like, Storm in X-Men. And even Hall Halle Berry, who plays her as well. So... OT, just like you have oat biscuits. OT, just like you have a cup of tea with biscuits. Like, so, see this right here the Brit Awards with Robbie Williams. The blue for Jesus there, the red for Satan there. Goes all the way back to Captain America's Civil War. The blue for Jesus and Captain America, the red for Satan and Iron Man. <clears throat> Whose side are you on? Captain America, Jesus's, or Iron Man's, Satan's? Like... <clears throat> Robbie Williams represents Iron Man. See, Robbie's wearing red. Tony, Iron Man, wears red as well. The I for Illuminati. Another thing. C B R I. Just like Brie, Lar Brie Larson, her name starts with B R I. Remember, in the last video, I showed Little Mix being carried on those chairs, just like Cleopatra. Well, basically, it's because. The Illuminati and Freemasons are obsessed with Egyptians. That's what that that's that's the reason. So Cleopatra has got to be ascended off of the ground. Just like the members of Little Mix have got to be ascended off of the ground. Because it represents being that them ascending into heaven, just like the Rev 12 woman. Remember, it even goes back to uh, Katy Perry dressed as Cleopatra in one of her music videos. 
And it's no surprise then that both Little Mix and uh, Katy Perry both performed at the Brit Awards last night. It doesn't get much more obvious than this. Look, it says um, Lucy Bauer. No, sorry. It says Ada had cured Melinda May from death after she was infected by Lucy Bauer and rescued Phil Coulson and Leo Fitz from being dragged to hell. Literally hell. Doesn't get much more obvious than that. Like, see how it, how it, how it says Bauer, just like bear, going back to that whole feat of a bear thing. <clears throat> Just like Bear Grylls as well. Like, see as Islam Mick. Just like Mick Jagger and Mick Garvey in Benidorm. He's putting his thumb up just like Donald Trump. So, do you see those uh, Freemason pillars in the background? Just like the Freemason pillars here, see? Two sides. Two sides. Two sides. Just like there's, there's uh, two opponents in a boxing ring. Two opponents here, see? And this white is for heaven. That's, that probably represents the new Freedom Tower that has been built. And the, and the red one and the blue one probably represent the Twin Towers. See 9-11 right there. So here is your Perry Edwards Alice and Brie Larson, Captain Marvel type character here. Grant Ward becomes Hive. Now, Hive is like a disease or a virus. And diseases and viruses usually put people on hospital wards. So do you see how that's obvious? Like, W, two Vs next to each other for the fifth edge. Like, <clears throat> there was actually a Charmux video the other day. And it had 666 likes. The 666 is the number of the Antichrist. The Omen. I mean, it probably has more, more likes by now, so I can't prove it, unfortunately. Um, but um, because I actually saw it on my Windows computer, because I'm actually on my Mac at the moment. Um, but... Um, I mean, you, you can even see that it has 66 dislikes for, for 666. <clears throat> um, the most creepiest thing about the Tyramux video having 666 likes, I th if I remember rightly, it was actually a, a video about 9-11. It says Brit, just like you have Brit Marley, the actress who represents the Rev 12 woman. She has blonde hair as well, just like Alice in Wonderland and Lana Benito. Perry has one eye covered over and one eye exposed. Brit, oh sorry, Brie Larson, she has one eye covered, one eye exposed. It represents the same thing. The Illuminati Eye of Horus, the Illuminati Eye of Horus. So, Perry and Bree both represent the Rev 12 woman. If you look at the stage, it's shaped like the Islam cube. The Mirror Cracked, which is an Agatha Christie novel, um... That basically represents that Satan works through mirrors. Idol worship. 